Deacon Clement Samuel. Clement Samuel joined the Catholic Charismatic Renewal in 1974 and served as the leader of the Covenant community for 30 years. Offering help and hope to many, Samuel was ordained deacon in 2014 and currently serves the Penang Diocese in West Malaysia, where his bishop appointed him head of the Healing and Deliverance Ministry. Deacon Clement was the chairman of the Peninsula Malaysia Service Team, PMST, of the CCR from 2004 through 2008 and for 17 years has served as the editor of Inspiritu, the official magazine of the CCR. He has prepared couples for marriage for 32 years at the parish level. I got involved in the uh, Catholic Charismatic Renewal in 1974. The Charismatic Renewal began in, in Malaysia in 1973 at my hometown where the principal of the convent school, Sister Cyril, had gone back to Ireland and when she came back, uh, she came back with the experience of the baptism of the Spirit and she started the prayer group. So in 1974, I was going through a seven weeks life in the Spirit seminar and uh, one day while attending a school uh, retreat, I went before the Grotto of Our Lady and asked Our Lady to pray for me that I may experience the Holy Spirit. And I left that grotto feeling uh, suddenly an overwhelming sense of God's presence, of joy and peace. First time experiencing God in my life and that was uh, a turning point in my life and which led me to seek the Lord and to uh, come closer to Him. And eventually, in 1983, I became the leader of the Charismatic Prayer Group in my hometown. And in 1974, I was, uh, we the Lord led us to form a covenant community in my hometown, and, and I became a leader of that group. And, um, and that was uh, for 30 years as a leader of the covenant community in Taiping. And uh, my journey in the renewal led me to uh, become the editor of the of the charismatic uh, magazine of Peninsula Malaysia. And, and then in nine, uh, 2003, I was asked to help to coordinate the uh, Peninsula Charismatic Convention uh, for about 12,000 uh, Catholics in Peninsula Malaysia. And soon after the convention, uh, I was elected to be the chairperson of the Peninsula Malaysia service team, serving for about five years. After all these experiences, about three, uh, about five years ago, my bishop approached me and asked me whether I could consider becoming a deacon. And uh, so I went through uh, a time of discernment to a retreat and went for a formation program in Manila for about six months. And after the process of discernment, I felt that after all that I've experienced uh, through the renewal and all the many good things God has done in my life, I found God calling me at this stage of my life to, to serve the wider church. And eventually I made the decision to follow God's call uh, uh, and, uh, and, and was ordained about three years ago as a, a permanent deacon. So after becoming a deacon, uh, one of the main uh, opportunities that I discovered was the uh, many, many uh, different ways as a deacon in the church you can serve God's people, you know, reach out to many people, and the opportunity to share God's word in a wider circle with, uh, uh, through the homelies, uh, performing marriages, funerals, and so uh, the the ministry of a deacon has indeed been a blessing. I could share many, many things that I've already learned through the Charismatic Renewal, uh, many uh, experiences of God's presence and also the insights into God's Word. And I can see that uh, today God can use me in, uh, in, um, in different ways to uh, help in this renewal process that God is doing in the church today through the Holy Spirit. I 
think one of the uh, the first things that attracted me to the renewal, uh, uh, even before I I joined the uh, the charismatic renewal, is in the early days. Uh, one of the things that attracted me, I found that people who had joined this renewal were now attending mass frequently, uh, more frequently, uh, and that caught my attention. Uh, that there's something here that is happening. And personally, from my own experience, uh, I think. Uh, I can say for myself and also observing people in the renewal, I think the 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 renewal has helped uh, help us to rediscover God in a very personal way la, and what God has done for us, uh, especially the uh, what Jesus has done for us on the cross and every Eucharist we are remembering the the great act of sacrifice that Jesus done and and not only that uh, remembering but also. Here now itself, at every Eucharist, we can experience uh, that power of the cross to work in our lives, to bring deliverance and transformation in our own lives. And not only the Eucharist, but all the other sacraments, even the sacrament of reconciliation itself, has become not just uh, just as a place where we just uh, cleanse ourselves of our sins, but also a place to encounter Jesus and to allow Jesus to transform us and to change us. So definitely the, the renewal has helped, has helped myself and I also know many people to really appreciate the sacraments as, as places where we can encounter Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Right from the very early days of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal as I began attending prayer meetings, one of the most important uh, uh, things that were taught to us was to have a regular personal prayer time, uh, quiet time with God and uh, reading the Word of God and, and uh, encountering God uh, in my life. And I think amidst all the different, different challenges that I've gone through all these years, uh, uh, one of the things that has really helped me to, uh, to keep my uh, faith in the Lord and love for the Lord is uh, that regular uh, time with Him and uh, uh, in personal prayer. At the same time, in an ongoing way, uh, uh, trying to learn of God's ways by regularly uh, reading uh, books that would help me in my spiritual growth and listen to various talks and uh, attend ongoing formation program. Uh, I think uh, these were some of the things that helped me to sustain my relationship with God. Of course, uh, being part of a covenant community, uh, the, the network of relationships and having brothers and sisters to support me in, in my journey and in their words of encouragement and also the testimony of their lives. Uh, I think uh, community also has played a very important role to uh, keep my focus always on the ground with the Lord. So in 1980, I went to India to attend the uh, Charismatic uh, Bible College that was uh, 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 directed by uh, Father Few and Father Rufus. That uh, 10 months at the college uh, gave me, I think, uh, an overview of God's uh, uh, message in the Bible and uh, an understanding principles of uh, interpretation and how to apply God's Word to my life. And ever since uh, attending that Bible college, I was able to deepen my knowledge of, of the Bible, especially learning how to, to study the Word of God and how to uh, interpret the Word of God and to apply God's Word. So the 10 months of uh, Bible study, having different professors coming and teaching us the Word of God and especially teaching the Word of God in a very practical way, uh, I think that has helped me to see the Word of God not just as some uh, uh, intellectual knowledge, yeah, but as something that uh, one and God is as a gift to direct our life and to help us to grow in wisdom and knowledge and, and understanding the things of, of life. Yeah. 
I think the uh, experience of the Holy Spirit and the uh, Catholic Charismatic Renewal has led me to understand uh, that uh, I can't change myself. Uh, that it is, it is through the Holy Spirit I can uh, become another Christ, uh, like Jesus, uh, loving, patient, kind, gentle. And even if I want to uh, serve others, uh, uh, I can't do it with my own strength or my own wisdom. Uh, so the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the working of the Holy Spirit is uh, very, very vital for, for my own personal uh, transformation and also for a ministry in the church. Uh, so I think one of the biggest contributions of the Catholic Charismatic uh, Renewal is uh, creating this awareness uh, of the importance of the Holy Spirit and the role of the Holy Spirit. Uh, in First, of course, in our own ordinary lives, uh, as, like for me as a married person, as a husband, as a father, now how do I uh, relate with my wife, my children, and learn how to be loving, understanding, and patient, and kind, and and build unity with my family, and also from there, learning to relate with others in the, in the church. Yeah. Sometimes there's so much of division, and sometimes even the renewal itself, uh, when we get involved, uh, we have uh, conflicts between leaders and between people, and so I think um, the Holy Spirit has to work in an ongoing way in our lives, uh, constantly. Uh, we cannot uh, neglect the work of the Spirit if we want to uh, accomplish what God wants to accomplish today la, in the church and in the world. La. In the context of uh, a multiracial country like Malaysia, where we have uh, Hindus and Buddhists and and Muslims, of course, uh, predominantly Malaysia is uh, a Muslim country. Uh, and uh, so evangelization can be a quite a sensitive area, especially if it's done in an aggressive way. So in the context of Malaysia, witness of life is very, very important. So the renewal, I think this way, the renewal uh, has, uh, has helped us uh, Catholics to be to experience transformation of life and uh, where we can become more loving and more concerned for others and relate uh, better with people of other religions and then also find uh, you know, uh, uh, different ways rather than directly trying to evangelize people but to you know, uh, witness by our life, uh, our experiences and. Uh, and then where there's opportunities to even share the good news of what God has done for us. So definitely I'll say that the Charismatic Renewal with its focus on uh, life transformation and, and helping Catholics to, uh, you know, to witness to the good news has, uh, has helped us to uh, take a better approach to, uh, to evangelizing in a multiracial country. The renewal uh, has, has definitely has brought a lot of good to the church, but maybe there's also maybe over the years maybe uh, where some people in the renewal could have uh, you know picked up certain elements from the uh, other churches where maybe certain aspects of uh, uh, healing. Uh, uh, there could have been some, uh, maybe some abuses with the way healing or deliverance is done, or even sometimes in the way we worship and we praise and worship the Lord, sometimes we may be more uh, loud and assertive rather than you know, the Catholic approach of uh, having a balanced form of worship. So uh, there could have, there, there definitely have been some drawbacks uh, over the years uh, of the, uh, but I think the, it has also been a maturing time uh, for the renewal uh, to to uh, mature to try to integrate our uh, Catholic uh, way of life with the you know these new experiences that we are having in the in the renewal. Uh, so I would say that it's a maturing process, uh, you know. Uh, 
uh, even like uh, maybe healings and miracles and uh, of course God works healing and miracle but sometimes as we understand in, in the church that uh, sometimes God uh, wants to purify us and uh, through the the sufferings that we go through in our lives so so God's work of healing is uh, not just signs and wonders but also God also wants to purify and transform us After 50 years of course we want to thank God for the many blessings but I think the uh, the what the spirit is saying today uh, to the holy father and and went through the uh, bishops of our peninsula uh, uh, Malaysia that uh, the holy spirit is calling us to go beyond ourselves uh, even go beyond our parishes and to to reach out to the uh, many people in our country to become more missionary and more uh, evangelistic in our approach to to living our lives uh, so i think the the renewal i think is very important for the renewal as we move ahead to come to that realization that we are living in uh, very critical times where many many realities today that is uh, that is affecting uh, not only people in the renewal but also people in the church Uh, secularism individualism uh, hedonism all these uh, trends that we see in the world are, are coming into our country it's uh, destroying weakening family life and weakening relationships uh, so i think the challenge of the renewal is to uh, see beyond ourselves to uh, a mission and call that god is calling us uh, i remember many years uh, ago when i attended the international charismatic uh, conference in rome and cardinal sunans uh, gave a, a short speech and he said this might have been his last time where he was addressing the renewal and he said that go and tell all the renewal groups back in your country and go out <laughs> you know put the word exit that means you come you receive go out and give so i think the call of the renewal the future of the renewal is uh, in his evangelization and his mission in the world and uh, the more we come to realize our vision and our calling i think the renewal will continue to mature and grow if you have good news we expect you to want to share it salvation in jesus christ the son of god who for love of us and for our salvation came down from heaven salvation in his name and he is the only savior is what we are on earth for therefore all those who spread the good news of salvation in jesus christ we should encourage them i can speak but how many people can i reach alone but the media the television people the radio the newspapers and all those who use the computer and its derivatives in various ways to spread the gospel we must thank them we must encourage them we must work with them so that they can continue to spread the good news there's so much news that it's not so wonderful in the world but there is also news that is wonderful on the gospel of Jesus Christ we encourage them and beg God to bless them especially the Shalom World TV God bless you Shalom World God's own channel